Now, one thing that you'll observe is that when you switch between your pages, so if you want to go to the next page, your column headings disappear, but we do not want that to happen because then it's very difficult to understand what these this data is, what exactly the data in these columns is representing. So we want our column headings to be present on each of the page. So what we can do, so let's just remove this one particular column. Okay, do a preview. So now we have our report like this, and I want to repeat my column headings on each of the pages. So what you can do now is you have to go here down below and then in the row groups and column groups, you have to click on this drop down over here, this arrow, down arrow over here, and you'll get an option to go to the advanced mode. So what now you have to do is click on the advanced mode. Okay. And now you'll see that there are two options here, static and details. Details are your data records. And this is your static. So select static. Okay. And then on the right hand side, you'll see that the various options. And one of them is repeat on new page. So this is set to false. What I'm going to do is set this to true. Okay. Now let's do a preview. Let's go to the next page. Now every page would have your column headings. Okay. Go back to your design window. So what we have done is simply selected our static attribute and set its property repeat on new page to true. 